Hi, welcome to MrWeek.com. This is Navjot, and today we'll learn how to add plugins on your WordPress website. Let's go ahead. So, first of all, what you'll need is to log in to your website. To do that, what you'll have to do is to go to the web address, which is for my website is MrWeek.com slash blog. This is where my WordPress website is hosted right now. So, I'll do wp-login.php and this will give me the login page so my login page looks different because it's customized but uh, from here you add your login details and login so I have already logged in now what we'll have to do is we'll have to go on the top left corner select dashboard Once that's loaded, what we'll have to do is plugins. So you'll just see that on the left, which is plugins. So there will be three options install plugins, add new, or editor. So the most op uh, important options will be installed plugins. First of all, let's go there and see what plugins I have here. So I have a Kismet, so this is for uh, anti spam. Pro, uh, provided by automatic which is uh, the WordPress company then we have BB press uh, better WordPress recapture etc etc so you can enable and disable your plugins here so you'll see some difference you can also update your plugins here as well so you'll see one difference between the plugins that are active right now uh, and that are unactive right now so the ones that are active they will have settings and a deactivate tab whereas the ones that are not active they'll have a button called active activate or delete so I can easily delete this plugin by doing this and it's being deleted and it's gone so for this one if I go for BB press I can press settings let's say for example and I just get all the settings for this plugin uh, let's go and see how we can add a new plugin uh, so these were our existing ones. So to add a new plugin, first of all, what we'll have to do is press Add New button on the top. Um, so there's two ways of uh, adding a new plugin. It could be through the search bar. We can search for the best plugins, or we can even upload a zip file of the plugin. How you can get that zip file is, let's say, WordPress plugins and let's see if we can get hands on one of the plugins let's say we take jetpack so this is one of the plugins let's say you downloaded your plugin and you have the file now you have two options you can even search jetpack here which is the easiest option and once jetpack comes in we can just so you can see I have already installed it so it's giving me option to update it let's try another plugin so it's saying booster for WooCommerce um, and let's say for this example let's install this installing just pressing the button it will take some time and install the plugin I'll also show you this option in a second let's wait for this to install okay it's I think it's gonna take a little bit let's go to the website and see what's my website about so uh, has certain parts portfolio virtual dice which you can go and roll it a couple of times it can be five times roll it and it will give you good numbers it's a good rolling die game let's see if it is installed yes so it's already installed if we do activate this will activate the plugin for me and then you will be your plugin so once activated it's in there and let's find it out I actually don't even remember its name because I randomly selected it but it should be here okay there it is booster for WooCommerce so this one doesn't have any settings so that means its settings got to be somewhere here so here and we don't see anything okay so possibly this was not the best choice for uh, the plugin but this is the process and 
let's try the settings for another plugin. So let's say code colorer. This will give me the settings. It will be the same for most of the plugins basically. And that's all we got to do. Since I'm not using this, I'll deactivate and I'll delete it later. Let's try the other way, which is let's say I want to upload a file. So what I'll do is add new okay upload plugin and I'll drop this file in here and say install now so I can't do that because I have already installed this plugin which will just reset the uh, files for me but this is all the process it takes and once the plugin is there you can customize it through its settings and that's all it is it's very very simple process thanks for watching